This playthrough is rated T for Teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valdemar back here with another episode of Front Mission 3. In the last episode, we delivered some of our mechs to the uh, J JD or see, J JDF. I had to remember the acronym there for a second. And we got attacked by their defenses for some reason. We were able to fight them off. Got pissed because we were trying to defend ourselves and they got mad at us, but what can we do? And we left in a, in a huff, so... Whoa, the boss was furious! It wasn't our fault. Why is he mad at us? Sure, we only took the new Vonzers and went on a wild rampage, dude! We might have died otherwise. <laughs> hey, I was a victim too, man! The military was at fault too! Don't worry too much! Go home and rest! Ugh. <laughs> Stop sulking! Let's go home! Uh, by the way, in between uh, in between episodes, I did a lot of uh, just the network stuff off screen, just to uh, um, just to unlock anything I could or download any extra stuff. Not it's not required to do f to play the game. Really, going through networking, like I mentioned before, is basically just to give you a backdrop of of what's the wor what's going on in the world at the moment or why it is what it is. Like if you never played. Front Mission 1 or 2, or aren't familiar with the series, so it's kind of interesting if you want to check it out, but this prevents the game from throwing exposition at us, which I like, so, or at least a whole lot of exposition. But anyway, how are you? Or, sorry, this is a, a email from a girl named Alyssa, apparently. How are you? Is, is it warm in Okinawa? I want to be there. I was transferred to the lab in y Yusaka Base. Uh, what? You go there a lot, don't you? Maybe we'll see each other. Good luck with work. P.S. Don't forget my souvenir. I forgot they if if they're actually going out or not, or or maybe, or they're just friends. It's hard to say. I forgot how Ryoko uh, Ryoko said it, but surprise. What's wrong, Kus Kus Kazuki? Alyssa, <laughs> your sister? Oh, she's the sister. Okay. This is what happens when you don't play a game for a week at a time. <laughs> Isn't she at some college lab? She's been assigned to Yosaka, Yosuka base starting today. Alyssa was inside the base? Maybe she was hurt in the accident. <laughs> You're jumping to conclusions. That base is huge. Let's go, Ryogo. Hurry! <laughs> Where to? Back to the base to find Alyssa. Dude, talk about talk about brotherly protection. Hey, but but... Shut up and follow me. Whoa, okay. Well, apparently we're going to go see if her, his sister's safe. All right. Anyway, we could go out, go to the hangar, and we could do simulation room if we want to uh, try out some of our stuff or test. Basically, you always want to go, if you've got new equipment or aren't sure how you want to play it, luckily at this part of the game, we don't have to worry about um, doing the simulation right now because we don't have a whole lot of new toys to mess with, but uh, keep that in mind. So. What's the hurry? I don't know. Okay, that's all he says. How about Ryogo? Aren't we going to Yusuke base? Is that the same thing every time? Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's check out. See, I think the simulation room is where we do. Let's see what the hangar has in it. I assume we can. Let's see. What the heck did you do at the base? Okay, this says the same thing. Wasn't sure if they had anything to do here. Actually, might as well, before we go out, show you the simulation room. Just to see our, our options on what we can do there. But basically, they're meant to test out our mech layouts and equipment. So, if you got some new items, bought some new equipment. Um, okay, so we got the simulation edition here. Uh, but yeah, we can basically... Basically do tutorials and re revisioning on stuff like that. So I'm not going to go through that, but just to let you know that's basically the point of it. So yeah, it's really meant to, when you get new abilities or weapons, uh, it gives you a chance to to uh, um, test them out to make sure if that's the build you want. Um, I think it's going to be a while till we actually get to mess with builds and stuff like that in the uh, game, if I remember correctly. So anyway, let's uh, let's go out. And uh, head back to the base and see if we can find our sister. 
Yeah, I've got to go use them. Uh, hopefully they'll let us back in after after having a row with them earlier. Although they are a defense force, would they even let civilians in? I mean, yeah, we, our company has a contract with them, but that's different. Excuse me, I have family in the base. Could you let me in? No authorized personnel allowed. My sister may have been involved in the accident. Please, you have to let me in. Man, Kazuki is a very angry guy. I said no when I mean it. Then check and see if my sister's in the base. Look, I can't tell you anything about the base. Now get out of here. Well, I mean, it is a, it is like a secure or whatever. Damn. <laughs> Forget it, Kazuki. But there's nothing you could do at this point. Let's head back at once. So apparently they wear their test pilot outfits even in a casual, casual day um, stuff. Man, that's an easy fashion to, to use, right? Okay, I guess we could go back to base or we got downtown. Might as well check there. There's a bar downtown where a lot of JD, pip, JDF people go. I guess we could get some information out of them so some people get drunk. There you go. You go crazy when it comes to Alyssa. Just calm down for a second. Alyssa was adopted from another country. Ah, so they're half, half si well, they're still siblings, but adopted siblings. She lost her parents in an accident. She used to cry all the time. Ah, you got, you got a heavy case of nostalgia, dude. That's in the past now. She's a happy girl now. What do you know about Alyssa? I need to protect her. All right, all right. If that's how you feel. Yeah, whew. Don't talk about his sister, man. All right. Lots of GDF soldier drink here. A pride place for info. Anything else to say? Okay. Sometimes they say multiple things. No one knows what caused the accident. The information is classified, I guess. I guess it is. They lie anyway. The military lies all the time. No one will tell us the truth. Yeah, that's that's bad if, if you don't trust your own military. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, do you know about the accident, Yokozuka? I'm the cover agents from another country today. Why? They want a piece of the cake. No more for you. It's classified. Ooh. Drunk people sometimes just don't make sense. Did he say that? Oh, sorry. You know about the explosion of your sucker base? If you keep a secret. He's just a rambling trunk. Is he repeating now? Okay, he is. Alright, let's talk to the Patriots. <laughs> An accident at the base? What the heck are you talking about? You guys know about the JDF website? It's great for GDF enthusiasts like me. I'll tell you the address. Take a look. You like it? Huh, okay, maybe we want to do that. And a random tramp. Whoa! Don't be called a lady a tramp, dude, unless you know much about her. Actually, I think there's a... I forgot what the original term for tramp meant. You know, kind of like lady and the tramp type of thing, where it's just like a vagabond or something like that, I think. I'll have to look it up. I remember it's not as... It's, it w originally wasn't as egregious as we think it is, although how often have you heard the word tramp anymore? Not rarely, but... Anyway, an accident at the base... There was an accident? Hey, if you buy me dinner, I'll be your date. Okay, that's... That's not... That, that's okay, lady. What? No money? Go away! Yeah, I thought so. JDF officers give me lots of money. So not quite a prostitute. Basically someone who just tries to get free drinks and food from, from dudes. Okay. Just seeing if she had anything else to say. Well, he did mention the JDF website. Let's go check it out. Maybe there's some news there that we're not uh, aware of. So there are some reasons to check out the JDF website. Or, sorry, check networking for story purposes. I don't think you have to do it quite regularly. I think you only have to do it every once in a while. It should be at now that he, we've talked to the guy, it should have been added to our, uh, uh, let's see, where is it? Okay, there it is, JD, JDF. Uh, I've already gone through and looked up over all the rest of the stuff, so I don't need to mess with that for... 
So what we need to do is to need to find out what happened. Maybe they'll have a, uh, a section on the website they'll let us know. Okay, we've got topics, organization, deployment. Well, let's take a look at those really quick. See, explosion at Yusaka base. The following has been confirmed regarding the explosion. The explosion took place in Warehouse 21 where emergency fuel was stored. While there is a possibility it was a terrorist attack, the fire seems to have started from the switchboard near the entrance. If the incident turns out to be terrorism, it is a heinous crime to destroy fuel stored for citizens. The JDF has resolute and its result, result, efforts to protect our citizens, never giving in to acts of terrorism. Man, even terrorism was even around during during the 19, uh, late 90s when, uh, when they were making games. The JDF is controlled by the Defense Ministry, selected by Parliament. The picture shows the organizational structure of the JDF. The picture above can be downloaded. Downloaded? Uh, sure. Oh, we don't have the download. Or do we? Let's just check the good old internet. <laughs> uh, let's see, what's the password for the JDF? Ah, it's JDF's maps. Okay. I forgot how you're supposed to figure this out. I'll, I'll tell you later on when I actually go through um, that process. Because any password and stuff in the game could be figured out through clues or or information or, or, or programs that you get later on in the game. Um, like some of it's not going to be obvious, so, but. All right, we got the map. I mean, we, I think all, all that does is just gives us some base information, but we don't actually need it. All right, anyway, uh, capability of each JDF base. Select the district and base. Uh, I think we just need the Okinawa one, right? I'll look over the other ones later. Um, cause we just need the one that's important for our purposes, so. Okinawa City Naval Base. Cruisers. One cruiser. Six destroyers. Vonzers 120. Wow, they got a lot of those. Manpower, 8,000. Well, it is a base. It makes sense, so. That's why I check this one real quick just to see. Ooh, that one's got a lot of uh, air air support. 89 aircraft. 42 support aircraft. Okay. Ah, whoops. Forgot that. I think we're... I think that's all we need to know. I don't think we need to know the rest of the uh, base's power structure. And if we exit out, that should give us what, uh, let's see. And do we have any mail we can, can we email our sister? I, I, I went on a email rampage off screen just to unlock all the emails for later in the game. I, can't, I thought, could swear I had an Alyssa email. I guess not. Maybe, maybe that's a story one. Anyway, I guess we're good here, so let's go back. That should have given us the information we needed. Alright. Let me go ahead and save it again really quick. By the way, there's going to be a time discrepancy. Well, not time discrepancy. There's going to be a huge major time difference between, like, recordings. Is because when I, when I did all that networking off screen... I uh, I took a while to do all that. Well, I mean, I left the game running because I was working on some things, but... Alright, do we have anything else or can we go? Okay, so we can... We, sh we should be able to leave now, now that we've checked that. Can we talk? Oh. I should give her a voice because I already gave all the females the same voice. Huh? Who are you? Kazuki, don't be rude to such a beautiful lady! Hey, girly, how about a date? Oh, you're one of those types of guys. You invest... Um, see what voice I want to give up. You're investigating the accident. I'd rather investigate you. Oh, boy. You get all the ladies, don't you, Ryogo? Ryogo, shut up! <laughs> Do you know something? Maybe. We, can't, we, we can make a deal. I might just give her my southern voice again, because I can't really do female voices. What is it? I need your help. I'm listening. I'm Amir Klebski, a USN radiation scientist. Well, I guess it. There you go, she's from the USN. Uh, by the way, out, out, uh, if you check the information, USN and the OCU, which is where we're at now, are kind of on... Uh, vapid waters right now, not like the best of friends. Not quite enemies, but, you know, a, a mixed relationship. Wait, this is OCU Japan. What's an enemy country scientist doing here? 
Hey, Kazuki, business people come in and out. Scientists are business people, too. Hey, why are you in Japan? I wanted to learn more about the accident. Why? Apparently it's widespread, didn't it? It just happened the other day. I need your help for my investigation. What do you want us to, what do you want us to do? We'll take the Vonses to the accident site. Oh, let's just take dangerous mechs to sites, why don't we? Can a USN scientist go inside a JDF base? You want us to sneak into the site? Yes, we'll prepare the Vonses. What do you say? Hey, Kazuki, you're going with her to the base, aren't you? There's no other way to find Alyssa. How about you, Ryogo? <laughs> Can't turn down an offer such a beauty. Well, aren't you a gentleman? Hi, guys, done. <laughs> we'll do it, Amir. I'm Kazuki Takamura. This is Ryogo Kasama. Kazuki and Ryogo. You can call me Emma. When do we leave, Emma? Right away. Come with me. All right, time for the... Got the story scenes, and we got the combat scenes. Well, I mean, it's obvious that there's, like, the, the plot part, and then there's the uh, combat part, so... Hopefully the fight doesn't take too long that we go over 30. I really try to stick to my 30-minute limit on, on episodes. Just, like, if... Because it just... It's more, you know, organizational and easy to edit and all that fun stuff. And it doesn't take, like, five hours to render... We're being sneaky. ID, please. We're, 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 we're from, from, from Kirishima. Wow, he has not done sneaking before because he is nervous as all hell. Hey there, we're with Kirishima Industries. Right now, we can't let civilians in due to that accident. Yeah, we're here to deliver Vonzers to clean up the mess. I haven't heard anything about that. Well, that's strange. We were ordered to bring him. Oh well, if you can't go in, we'll just leave them here then. Here, I need you to sign for these. Wait, they'll get in the way if you leave them here. Yeah, but you won't let us in. What else can I do but leave it here? Alright, alright, go in. Wow, I don't think that would actually happen in real life. You sure, man? I don't have a choice. Just drop them off and get out of here. <laughs> of course. Thanks a bunch. You can tell Ryo goes a, definitely a socialite if he can convince people like that. Well, the main hero is definitely a run-and-gun type of dude. Didn't take long to set up certain personality traits of each character. Gotta respect that of the game. <laughs> Thumbs up for going to the actual location. Good game, good. Sounds like this accident might be, well, from the, the from what we've heard, maybe terroristic, so I wonder what the USN has to do with that. Okay, way in. You're pretty good, Ryogo. <laughs> Dude, I'm not good. You just suck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I'm, it's funny how he just accepts that. Cut the chatter and stop the Vonses. I thought the translators did a pretty good job with this game for the most part. All right, so what are we looking for? Hey, this Vons is fully armed! Emma, what's the meaning of this? We're only here for info. We could just dropped off the weapons, you know. It's just for looks. You won't use them. Are you sure? We'll, ta we'll take the lift down, hey. You know, we just met you, lady. How can we truly trust everything that you're doing? Go down? An underground research facility. That's where the accident occurred. Okay. Are you sure we're not going to freak out some soldiers or JDF protection just running around fully armed? Hey, Kazuki, what's your assist from the facility? I don't know. What do you think we're doing here? Ask a stupid question, am I right? It's almost hard to tell if Ryogo and Kazuki are friends or not. Are you ready? Just because of how Kazuki just yells at Ryogo quite frequently. Or Ryogo, whatever. Talk about high intense action, folks. 
Well, that's the difference when you have uh, when you have more realistic mecha or or anime fantasy mecha. You know, I'm more of a fan of realistic mecha. I don't know. There's just a certain flair to it over the hyper unrealistic version, like most anime that do mechs. Not that I don't like those types of mech shows. Like I was a fan of Gundam for the longest time. I'm not a fan of the later Gundam series for the most part. Not that they're bad. I'm just. I think I've got lost a lot of anime. I've, I've lost interest over the years, and that might be from style or or getting tired of seeing certain ideas or tropes in the anime or something like that. I only stick to certain types of anime now, like the high quality ones or or the or certain or certain specific ones down here. But what are we? What were we? You doing in this place? You'll see. I mean, it's a, it's a uh, research facility, right, or, or something based, so it's probably something with pr protection or defense of the Japanese uh, uh, island, right? Although, technically, we're a part of a country now, too, the OCU, which is the Oce what is it, Oceanic Central Union or something like that. We're part of, like, I think our country is, our OCU is like Japan, Australia, and a couple other countries just, like, tied together. This sure is an extravagant facility. I've got a bad feeling about this. We're trespassing on a military base if we get caught. Yeah. Treason. Things are looking bad. We're running out of options. What do you mean, bad? What are you doing anyway? We'll talk later. I'll lock the door. Take the lift and get in position. Position? What's that supposed to mean? Get to the point. Is Japan starting a war? Whoa, are, do we have the funds? Or do we have the ability to do that? No way! I've only ever seen wars on TV, man! Yeah, the last big war was the Huffman War back in the 19, or 2060s or whatever. Yeah, from the USN's view, maybe, but Japan's not like that. So why are we helping an enemy agent then, if that's the case? Then you'll have to see for yourselves. This is what your country's got a hold of. Oh no, it's a wall. What the hell? I have no idea what he's looking at. I really don't. You still think your country's not up to something? What, what, what are we looking at? What happened? Or sorry, what happened? Actually, from what it looks like, it basically looks like a big-ass explosion occurred. It's as if something scooped out a hole in the wall. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. It looked it looked too like. Well, I wouldn't say clean, but you know. So is that what happened? The explosion that caused it to be scooped out like that, or something? Oh, there we go. What's it take to cause something like this? Oh wow. Can't be nukes, could it? Nah, it seems too simple for that. Wouldn't even cause that type of explosion anyway. It'd be burn marks everywhere. Emma, you know what it is, don't you? Uh oh. We set up some. There's no time to talk. Uh oh, we set off the defense force <laughs> alarm. Whoops! I found the intruders! We have permission to fire. Destroy them! Uh oh. We gotta defend ourselves and get out of here. They found us. What now? <laughs> Maybe they'll let us go if we apologize. Don't be stupid. We're witnesses. Hey, easy. I don't want to show it to us. They blocked our escape route. Guess we'll have to fight then. Watch yourselves. Here they come. Uh oh. Looks like we're out to fight our own our own countrymen to get out of here alive. All right, let's do it. Turn one. Player phase. Okay, let's see what our, we've got here. All right, looks like. Movement's not going to be too annoying. Let's see. Let's look at these units. See, we got... So we got machine gun with piercing. Let's see. Looks like we got... Looks like he's got a... No, that's my weapon. Let's see. He's got a in 2 mech. He's got a... Oh, he's just heavy. He's just at melee, so we don't want to get close to him. Let's see, he's good with melee, so. 
Okay. Whoops. Back up. Okay. Let's look at this guy. Uh, Jinro MK110 model, which I think one of us has. He's got a machine gun and melee. And he's good at both. Okay. So we don't want this guy to get close to us if we can help it. And actually, you never want melee to get close to you. And then we've got... So he's also in the MK11, same thing, same uh, machine gun. Yeah, okay. Not too bad. Okay, um, and we got three units, so one for one, so. Okay. Let's see, what's his range? Let's see, I think it tells you his move is six. So he's definitely a. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he can get up right in my face. Oh, did I miss a dude? Oh, there's another one over here. Okay. Is he also melee? Yeah. That guy's got high movement, so it's almost like no matter what I do, I'm going to get attacked by uh, by this dude. Alright. Alright, what's my range for my shotgun? I think it was like three. Do I want to even get close to him? He is going to punch me. If we go here, nah, I need to move one more. Do we want to risk just getting attacked? Because he'll shoot me, and then this guy's gonna punch me later. Luckily, he won't counter, which is good. Yeah, could have been better. Oh well. All right. Oh, nice. Rate of fire up. That's one of his abilities. Basically, it gives him, I think, 10% increase in, like, bolt use or something like that. Yeah, we'll, we'll equip it. Why not? Uh, in the game, when certain conditions are met, or levels, or abilities, or whatever, um, you'll sometimes unlock new skills and abilities. So, in this case, now we have the ability to possibly... Okay, it's, yeah, one... One and a quarter times possibility to do a bit more. So yeah, that's about 10% more, 10 or 20% more damage. So yeah, so that's cool. And it's a first, so. All right. Yeah, we've already equipped it, so we're good to go. And he's confused, which means, uh, let's see, what's, what do we got? And so she's got melee. Oh, she's got um, shoulder weapons. That's cool. Okay, what's her attack rate? Okay, cool. So we could keep hitting on him, although he is confused, which means... I think it means he gets a per low percentage chance of of, uh, of uh, being able to hit us now because he's confused. Oh, we can also destroy these uh, boxes if we want to with that. I forgot to. I forgot if there's actually anything good in these boxes. I don't think so. Okay, so might as well take advantage of her. Would moving closer help me out with that? I'm kind of curious now. Nah, it looks like her. It's about the same. The only reason we want to move her closer is to take advantage of her melee if we want to. So let's take advantage of her uh, ranged attack over here. Got missiles. Boom. Excellent. Okay, she got the ex ex experience times two ability. Neat. We're unlocking all these abilities. I don't think you can unlock abilities before this anyway. So the game's starting to show us these... Uh, uh, a, a tactic that can start. Okay, that guy's melee. So could be, yeah, that guy's gonna punch us. Could counter with shotgun or punch him. Well, I got infinite ammo, so... Um, yeah, let's just counter with the shotgun. Let's see if he'll hit me. Ooh, and I'm faster, so I, go, I went first. Ow! Oh, that guy decided not to move. Huh. He has, he has a, what's the word? I've got a shotgun of him again. Alright, I'm gonna keep working on him. I think we're going to keep working on this dude while we're here. 
I don't know if I'm gonna get be able to get platinum for this one. I might have to redo this fight off screen to try and do that. Yeah, he's getting closer. I could punch him to try and finish him off. Eh, I'd rather keep doing shotgun. Oh, I'm not doing as much damage as I'd like. Ow! He's almost out, too. Alright, let's finish this guy off. Hopefully we'll get the damage in front of him. Oh, he's got Doom now! That improves his t hit percentages, basically. Nice. Ah, uh, we did get full full uh, XP from killing the rest of his arms and legs, but uh, I'll take it. Nice. Yeah, let's equip Zoom. That but yeah, it basically raises your uh, to hit by 10%, so that's cool too. Man, we're getting a lot of abilities today. Nice. Okay, let's move up a bit. And I don't want to keep... He's getting closer, and he does this, right? Or is he... Or is he sh no, he's... Uh, ah, well, let's go ahead and... Uh, might as well, since he's getting closer, since he actually can counter all the guys. So. Aha! Nice. I mean, I like to try and take out the bodies and arms and legs if I can help it, but, uh... Well, since that guy's getting closer, might as well... Might as well keep using her. Oh! We might just straight out kill the guy. Nice. Okay, let's get... I could... Oh, he's up, up above. Okay. That might affect my percentages, yeah, because he's up on a higher higher plane. Would get there. Give me a better hit. Yeah, it would. Okay. Yeah, let's shotgun him again. We might kill him. Excellent. And yeah, we raised our shotgun level to A. Alright, good. Okay, let's, uh... Now him. Start working on that dude. Yeah, he's gonna be able to counter, but what can I do? Oh, nice. Okay, cool. I don't know if you can combine... I don't know if you can combine certain, uh, like, skills together. Oh, I got confused. Oh, well. Is that guy gonna move at all? Oh, huh. That's a bit odd. Yeah, okay. Cool. Okay, let's... I want her to start moving that closer, too. You only got a couple shots left. I want to save them for the melee, dude, though. Because she'll have to start punching the dude afterwards, so I'm going to hold her, hold off on her. Yeah, let's try it again. Man. Oh, now he's starting to attack. Good. And I can't counter him either. Might go ahead and just punch, uh... Let Emma take some damage and punch him. Oh, does she? Oh, she doesn't have any really good weapons with her punch, either. Okay, whatever. I took out your legs! How do you feel about that? Wait, she got Expert 2 again? Can you stack those? I don't know. His legs. Oh, he surrendered. So technically, we should let him alive since he surrendered. So, all right, because he doesn't want to die. No. 
Uh oh, here it comes. All right, let's uh get Emma to keep hitting him with her uh, missiles. Oh, nice. Got confused. Man, we're confusing them all up in this place. Wait, no, I don't think he can actually counter me right now. Yeah, because he's confused, so let's just punch him in the Oh, I thought he was supposed to be able to counter me. That's not good. Well, luckily he's going to punch me, and I can take the hit. Um, I might just try to punch him this time and see, see what happens. Ooh. Aw, oh, man, you stunned me. Come on. Ah, just getting getting all types of luck today, aren't I? Oh, she'll have to move because she can't. Uh... Yeah, so... yeah, I thought we were... I was ranked enough, good. He's almost dead. Alright, we're gonna try to bone bust or Odin him again before he can hopefully we can Cause guns usually go first, so. Ha! Got him. All right, since they've surrendered, we can now finish them off. Because we have to beat them, so, like... Yeah, we didn't kill the pilot. We just, uh... Because we need to finish them off. Basically, surrendering means that they won't attack us or anything like that. Um... Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, he uh, survived the the hit. Okay, now he's truly surrendered. Like surrender, they they kind of basically surrender, and then at some point they'll actually stop attacking. So, oh, Ash. Okay, I did pretty good. Nice. I was afraid I was just gonna get gold. So, all right. Nice. Oh, we even got a new Vonzer. All right, we'll take it. Let's just add that to our thing. Um, do you want to name it? Um, ah, eh, we'll just leave it as this. All right, nice. So we able to survive and get out of there. Or at least for now. What's going on? Are they really trying to kill us? We know the secret. We're as good as enemies to them. Emma, you act like you're expecting this. What's going on here? Get a hold of yourself, Kazuki. Just focus on surviving for now. I'll brief you on the escape route. Oh boy. Looks like this episode is going to run just slightly longer than I wanted to. But that's fine. That's fine. We should be getting to an interlude here pretty soon. Even if we take the elevators to the surface, the enemy will be waiting. Uh-oh, so there's multiple ones, huh? Let's keep going underground. We should be able to get to the surface through the cargo entrance. From there, we can proceed straight to the main gate. You want to just stroll out of the main entrance? It's not that easy. It's already taken care of. What do you, what do you mean it's been taken care of? Why do I not believe you? Game? Okay, there we go. I guess we're just trying to get out now. There may be more battles ahead. Did you resupply? <laughs> Bases are great. I'm fully supplied. Oh, yeah. Then we're off. 
God, what has this lady gotten us into? Who is this woman supposed to be? <laughs> a little fishy to think a hot babe like her is a scientist. Is that all you're on your mind? You might die here, you know. <laughs> Take it easy, pal. It's over and done. Let's just leave this joint. Man, Ryogo is really just a just a guy who just goes with the flow or just accepts it. But what do you do with it? You're gonna stick around? Shut up! I'm coming. True, true. Sometimes you need guys like that. You know, that's not the pessimist that uh, takes the joys and the little things. All right. Well, it looks like we found out some... We tried to find something about her sister, Alyssa, and we've got caught up into something a lot worse than we expected due to the uh, UN scientist, uh, Emma. Has she gotten us... Has she told us the real truth about our country that we want to start a war? Or is there something secret that she doesn't hasn't told us about that we've been caught up on in unnecessarily find out next time in the next episode of front mission three thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time